Bal Gangadhar Kher was born in Ratnagiri on 24th August 1888. Through his distinguished life, he gained prominence as a scholar, freedom fighter, Gandhian, solicitor, premier of Bombay, high commissioner to the UK, social worker, and above all, a humanist to the core. This year, we celebrate his 125th birth anniversary. As a tribute to the gentleman premier, we have put together a short film. It is a collection of footage of old newsreels, scanned images of correspondence and documents, and some photographs. This film is not a documentary on his life. It is a collage of some old memories meant to give a glimpse into the personality of Bala Saheb Kher. Bala Saheb passed away on 8th March 1957. He was a compassionate, upright human being who faithfully served society and his country with sincerity, honesty and commitment. We owe him much. One flag, one banner. Free India is a unified India, the small being joined to the big. Premier Kerr arrives in Kulapur formally to announce the merger of this historic Maratha state to Bombay province. The people are jubilant. A new vista of wider opportunities is opening for them. Units of the state's forces present a guard of honor. The occasion recalls the valor of Maratha soldiers. Union is strength. That is the great tradition handed down from Shivaji's days. Commemorating this great occasion, Premier Kerr announced a 10% remission of land revenue, a boon to the anxious agriculturist. The merger, said the Premier, was calculated to secure the fullest development of the state's resources. The chief administrator is happy. The chief advisor to the state's ministry, Sri V.P. Menon, assures the vast gathering that the change is for the best. Baroda has ceased to be a separate state. On the 1st of May, it was merged with Bombay province. The laws of the Indian Union now govern this two-century-old Maratha state. Some 8,000 square miles of territory had been added to Bombay. The Premier of Bombay took the salute at an impressive march past of state troops. They now form an integral part of the Indian Army. Sri B.G. Kerr paid a tribute to the progressive nature of the Baroda administration and recall that Baroda state was the first to accede to the Indian Union. The Maharaja, in a special message, said, I am integrating my state today into the dominion of India, hoping that this would be in the interest of the country as a whole. The people of Baroda, I thank you most profoundly for the love and loyalty you have shown my house for centuries. This is the dome of the Constituent Assembly in New Delhi, where Free India's constitution as a sovereign republic is being adopted clause by clause. The members are hurrying to attend a day's session. The meeting is very important. It is to hear India's Prime Minister speak on the decision taken at the Commonwealth Prime Minister's Conference in London about India's continuance as a member of the Commonwealth. Members are engaged in informal discussion. Ministers of the central government and provincial premiers are in the constituent assembly. The Congress president chatting with Sri Parshatam Das Tandon. 
This is Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, chairman of the special committee which drafted the constitution. The president, Dr. Rajendra Prasad, takes his seat. The London decision, Pandit Nehru declared, in no way diminished India's sovereign republican status. In a world sick and torn with strife, India's stand, the Prime Minister said, brought with it a touch of healing. The Constituent Assembly, reflecting the people's will, ratified the decision. In Bombay, despite the late hour, Crowds cheer Pandit Nehru as he boards the plane for London. He acknowledges the greetings of the Provincial Premier and the Home Minister. Prime Minister Nehru sets off from Delhi to fulfil his long-awaited visit to London and Paris. On arrival in Bombay, he is greeted by Premier Kerr and leading public men. Arriving by the same plane, was Sri N. V. Gadgil, Minister for Works, Mines and Park. On alighting from his special plane, Pandit Nehru was received by Mr. B. G. Kerr, Commodore H. R. Inigo Jones, Commodore Royal Indian Navy, and Mr. S. K. Patil, President of the Bombay Provincial Congress Committee. Prime Minister of India, the Governor of Bombay, the Chief Justice of India, Minister of Defence, Chief Justice of Bombay and Premier of Bombay arrived on board. Pandit Nehru took the salute and then proceeded to inspect the Guard of Honour. And here is the Guard of Honour standing rank upon rigid rank while the Prime Minister carries out his inspection.
The Golden Jubilee of the Marathi Grantha Sangrahalya, Bombay, provided a rare opportunity for scholars and politicians to get together in the common pursuit of learning and the fine arts. The governor was among the distinguished gathering. Inaugurating the celebrations, Premier Kerr outlined the Bombay government scheme for the expansion of rural libraries. In Bombay, the CIMPA organized a function to present awards to the best artists, producers and technicians of the Indian film industry. S. Mukherjee, producer of the best picture in 1947, Sindhu. Kishore Sahu, recipient of the award for the best director. Mubarak, for the best performance in Renuka. Hansavadkar, proud recipient of the award for the best woman's role in Matwala Shai. The Premier of Bombay, who presided, appreciated the laudable efforts of the organizers. He also expressed the hope that by the joint endeavors of all concerned, the Indian film industry would reach new heights. In Bombay, there were wrestling bouts on Holy Day. Be sure to win, the promoter seems to tell a competitor. The wrestling in catch-as-catch-can style was thrilling. The Premier of Bombay closely watches the events. Under official patronage, indigenous games are coming into their own. On a goodwill visit to Bombay, HMS Norfolk was greeted by units of the Royal Indian Navy. Vice Admiral Woodhouse, Commander-in-Chief, East Indies Station, inspects a guard of honor. Vice Admiral Parry, Chief of the Royal Indian Navy, and the Prime Minister of Bombay were among those who visited the ship. At the Malabar Hill residence of the Bombay Premier, Admiral Connolly of the United States cruiser Toledo was a distinguished guest. An armed unit of the Bombay police presented a guard of honor. After a happy half hour, the Admiral asked the Premier to see the cruiser. On its first goodwill visit to free India was this mighty ship of the United States Navy. Its presence would surely inspire India. And ere long, an Indian cruiser, flying the Trikala, will cross the Atlantic to return the Toledo's goodwill visit. After going round the ship, Premier Kerr returned full of admiration for its mechanical perfection. 